Here are the items we're going to use to color the uh, Standing Eagle in this program. You'll notice here I have two bottles of uh, Eco Faux leather dye. We've got the Java Brown and the Bison Brown. Also have some water, a mixing tray, uh, three different sizes of good quality brushes, uh, part of a uh, soda straw, and five colors of the EcoFlow Cova Color. And we will begin with these two colors of the EcoFlow Leather Dye. To begin, I have poured a small amount of the Java Brown into one of my wells. And now I will take the portion of the soda straw and I'll transfer some water into this to make it a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter in color. I'm going to use a, a good camel hair brush in a number three size. I'm going to now test my dye on a uh, piece of uh, leather that's the same leather that I, I've used here uh, for my carving and you can see that I get a pretty light brown. Now this is going to be our base color so we will pretty much cover the entire bird uh, with this one. And I will begin up here and as you can see I'm very carefully staying on to the bird. and covering the entire surface. Now this being a water-based dye, it's going to appear darker now than it will eventually when it dries. So we're carefully now doing everything around the edges mostly with this dye. Now we will not do it past where the feathers of the head stop because they're going to be white. So we will start there and we'll paint everything as you can see. We will not use any of this color on the head uh, and we'll use a small amount of it on the tail feathers as we will show you later. Very carefully to stay on the bird and do not get any of it onto the background. Please note that I am now using a larger brush. This makes it go a little faster when we're working in these large areas where I'm working now. Still need to be very careful as I go to the edge. If you will note up here in this area where we first started, it's quite a bit lighter now and that is the look that we want and we will eventually as this dries the whole bird will have this color strength as you see it right here. Now I'm back to my uh, smaller brush doing these points here on the leg feathers. Later on we will use white on these tail feathers, however there will be some shadows in between where the feathers overlap so I'm going to use some of this as you can see and we'll go in the area where we have beveled and uh, when we put the white on you will see the effect that this has 
on the three-dimensional effect of our bird. So we'll do that in where the beveling was only and underneath where the wing comes out over. We'll put some in there. This will be for shadows later when we put the white on. Next, I'm going to use a finer point brush and I'm going to use some of the full strength Java Brown. And this will be somewhat darker than the original one that we did right here. Now, even though it's still wet, it will appear quite a bit darker than the original when it dries. What we will do with that we will use it on all of the feathers and we'll use it in this manner. I will put it, as you can see, down in the area where we've beveled, especially up in the points, and we'll drag it out, but not all the way to the edge of each feather. We want the original color to be the edge. So we will come in here, as you can see, and we will darken up these areas in where we did the beveling. You can start with your brush loaded in the cut as you can see and then as it dries you can pull it out toward the edge. We will do this to all of the feathers. Notice also as we have the row of feathers I do a little extra on the top so that it will make the rows above appear to stand out. This will take quite a while, so take your time and you'll notice as it dries over here now, it blends quite nicely with the first color we put on. If you look closely, this area along here where I'm tracing with my brush is uh, actually the wing on the other side of the bird. So to get some separation between this wing and the wing on the back side, we'll use quite a bit of this uh, darker dye in this area to make all of those feathers appear darker. And as you can see, this is bringing out the front wing quite a bit. Now, it won't be quite that much because as this dries, it will get lighter. And now we will continue to darken these feathers on this side like we did the other ones. But notice they go in a different direction here. We'll also make this back side of the other wing quite a bit darker.
as you get up near the top of the of the neck or the coming into the head make pay special attention to all these little pointed areas so that the feathers will stand out As we go into the area where the the leg comes out from under the wing, we'll want to put quite a bit of this uh, darker color up near the top, and this will cause the wing to stand out from the from the leg. And after you get down here. A short distance you can start doing these feathers the same way you did the other ones in this case paying particular attention to the pointed areas where we used the pointed beveler earlier and this will cause these feathers to stand out The leg here on the other side or on the back side will pretty much cover the entire leg with this darker color. And this is how our piece looks to this point. You can see now that the, the feathers are beginning to stand out and have a good three-dimensional effect. I am now going to switch to the bison brown, which is quite a bit darker uh, than the java brown. And as usual, I'll test it. And this is exactly what I want. Now this, we're going to use full strength. And so I'll need to be very, very careful because I only want to use it down in the tightest areas, or shall I say the lowest areas, and I'm doing it with a rather dry brush. Now this will cause our feathers to stand out even more. And if you'll notice now each time I bring the brush out of the dye, I am putting it on my piece of scrap to uh, make sure that I don't get too much dye. So I'm only using this down in the lowest areas, very sparingly. And of course up into the points. Here again where the legs come out from under the, the wing, we need to do quite a bit of work in there to darken that area up. And we'll do the same thing with the back leg. And after we do the area right under the wing, we can come back and darken up all these little points. Here again, we're using quite a bit less dye than we did before, only up in the lowest areas. Do the same thing on the black leg, or on the, the uh, leg that's on the other side. Very carefully, just get in the points. This is how our eagle looks to this point. We are now finished with the EcoFlow leather dies, and we will switch to the EcoFlow Cova colors.